the planet is boiling from overheating. Merciless heat waves engulfing the world are deadly for people and are destroying the natural world. Coral reefs, the underwater gardens of the ocean, are also becoming one of the victims of the abnormal heat. In July, Florida's reefs faced an unprecedented threat due to sea heat. The ocean along the peninsula's shore turned into a boiling cauldron for its inhabitants. According to the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration NOAA, the surface of the water around the Florida Keys has warmed to an average of 33 degrees Celsius, which is 4 degrees above the upper temperature threshold optimal for local coral species. Meanwhile, on July 24, 2023, a data boy in Manatee Bay recorded a temperature of 38.4 degrees Celsius. This is the highest recorded temperature in the history of observations. What does rising temperature have to do with coral extinction? Corals live in symbiosis with tiny algae, zooxanthellae, which live in their cells and give them the bright colors. There is a mutually beneficial relationship between the organisms. The algae get the carbon dioxide they need from the corals and provide them with oxygen and other nutrients. Classic tropical reefs are only comfortable within a narrow temperature range. When the upper critical limit is exceeded, corals experiencing thermal stress expel zooxanthellae and as a result, lose their color and main food source. Until the temperature decreases, they cannot re-establish their symbiotic relationship. This means that a prolonged period of heat condemns them to starvation. The recent extreme warming of the ocean proved deadly for the Sombrero Reef. Scientists surveying the reef found that the corals there had become lifeless, not even having the chance to fully bleach. In fact, they were boiled alive. Almost all corals in the nearby Lu Key nursery also perished. While at Chica Rocks Reef, 99% of the corals suffered bleaching. And we don't know whether they will survive their forced starvation. According to the Florida Keys National Marine Sanctuary, it has already lost 80% to 90% of its reef systems. Are we on the brink of a complete loss of the Florida Reef? A similar question can be raised regarding other coral reef systems. Coral bleaching has been reported off the coasts of Colombia, El Salvador, Costa Rica and Mexico in the eastern Pacific, and along the Caribbean coasts of Panama, Mexico and Belize. Massive job loss in fisheries and tourism, a severe food crisis in coastal areas, economic collapse and physical disappearance of many island states, as well as the lack of components for a number of life-saving medicines. This is what the loss of corals could mean for humankind. But the irony is that humanity, meaning you and I, may not live to witness that moment. Ocean warming causing coral extinction is a manifestation of a much more dangerous process. It entails devastating consequences for the entire planet, for each and every one of us. And here's why. Just think about it. Ocean warming has increased by 450% in just 30 years. According to scientific estimations, for the ocean to heat up at today's rate, it would take as much energy as would be released if seven atomic bombs dropped on Hiroshima would explode every second for a year. The direst fact is that the ocean is heating not only on the surface, but also at depth. A team of US researchers has found that the average depths of the ocean warmed 15 times faster over the past 60 years than they had been warming over the previous 10,000 years. And this progression is accelerating every year. At the moment, science has no explanation where this amount of heat comes from. 
The only theories being considered are that the oceans are warming from the sun and from human emissions of the greenhouse gas CO2. But they can only explain heating of the upper layers of the ocean to a depth of up to 200 meters, because sun rays do not penetrate deeper. The water can be maximally heated by the sun up to 700 meters as a result of agitation. How can we explain the numerous facts of warming of the deep ocean layers? Think about it. How much energy does it take to heat such a volume of water as the world's oceans? We already see examples of such anomalous heating everywhere, not only on the bottom, but also on the surface. At the end of 2013, a huge area of unusually warm ocean water, about one-third the size of the United States, formed in the Gulf of Alaska and began to spread. The water temperature in many places exceeded the norm by 5 to 6 degrees Celsius. National Geographic dubbed it the blob that cooked the Pacific. Nick Bond, state climatologist for Washington, named this phenomenon the blob. The appearance of such anomalies began to suddenly become more frequent. There is something common that unites the places of formation of all these blobs. These are geologically active regions with a young, thin crust, with active underwater volcanoes, cracks, and deep crustal fractures. These are places of the most active output of hot and fluid magma. The ocean is called the kitchen of weather. The warming of its waters already enhances catastrophic typhoons and hurricanes, which annually claim thousands of human lives. The unprecedented heating of the ocean suggests that the ocean is already exhausting its ability to contain the energy trying to escape from the bowels of the earth. And when magma reaches the denser and thicker rocks of the continental crust, which on average is two to three times thicker than the oceanic crust, then the processes of cascading eruptions of land volcanoes will begin, and it will be too late to stop this process or to seek salvation. The ocean is the source of life for the entire planet, including us, humans. But we have only a few years left to reverse the process. The facts and statistics that the world's media is silent about are presented in a scientific report on climate published on the Creative Society channel. Learn how you, your family, and all of humanity can survive. Watch the online forum, Global Crisis. There is a way out.